Hello, I'm just in my bathroom. I'm going to do some makeup because I am going to make charm necklaces tonight with some of my girlfriends. I'm so excited. I've seen these charm necklaces all over TikTok and Pinterest and everything and I think they're so cute and I've seen a lot of tutorials on how to make them so I'm excited to finally have my own. We're going to get some cute, cute new jewelry in the rotation. I just got this little blush from Colourpop. It's like a heart. It's so cute. It's extremely pink but... I really like the color and how pigmented it is, especially now that it's spring. I'm trying to bring a lot more color into like my wardrobe and into my makeup and things like that just because I think it's so cute and it's like why not be fun and colorful in this time of the year. Plus in Charleston right now everything is in full full bloom like literally all the flowers are pink. There's white, pink, and purple bushes everywhere. It's just gorgeous so I'm really just leaning into the color. I like to put some up here too because I feel like it kind of looks like I got a little sunburn and I miss the feeling of looking like a little toasted after the sun because I feel like I have not been in the sun and had like a good day of like roasting in a while. Not roasting, obviously I wear my SPF and I don't like to burn myself, but you know the feeling of just like having a little sun kiss, like it just feels really nice. So the downside of having it be spring right now is this is my first time ever experiencing spring allergies and all I will say is that they're kicking my ass. Like I've never felt like this before. It feels like I have like a pretty gnarly head cold and I can't do anything without having to blow my nose every five seconds. Like I've gone through three boxes of tissues in the last like week. Honestly, I don't mind it if I'm home. Like if I'm working from home, it's fine. The blowing my nose doesn't bother me, but it's when I'm like on a walk or like going to yoga or something. Like yesterday I was in yoga and I literally had to leave the class to go blow my nose. And it's just like, ugh, I'm over it. But I started taking Claritin. <laughs> Fingers crossed that gets the job done. A bunch of people who've had them before have been telling me you have to like play around with the allergy meds to like see what kind works best for you, so. We'll see, I'll keep you posted on my journey, but I'm like kind of excited for the allergies to go away because I do not like feeling sick all the time. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter. I like was kind of off of highlighter for a while. And then like I said, trying to bring the color back in. I've been dabbling in this palette because it has lots of different colors. And I like to use the pink one and I put it right on top of my pink blush. Now we're gonna do the lips. I use this Thrive Cosmetics lip liner and oh my god I just opened this pencil and the whole thing flew off and flew down the drain of the sink oh it's gone this one was only like halfway used that's so sad a fallen soldier this is a cheapy little one it's LA girl perfect precision lip liner and I just like to do it on the bottom of my lip here and then I like to connect my cupid's bow and it makes you look like you have bigger lips than you do. That's what the lip liner looks like. And then I take my finger and I just kind of blend it down a little bit, make it look a little more blended in. And then we go back to the color pop. I'm getting a phone call. Hi baby, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Just finishing up with some mascara, and I think we're done. Keeping it very light and easy. Oh, what I was gonna say earlier is this heart palette is also a lip tint, so I just take a little bit of it on my finger, and you put it on your lips, and it matches your cheeks perfectly. It's the cutest thing ever. And then I just recently got the uh, color, I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm like throwing stuff all over the place. <laughs> I recently got the Colourpop lip oil and it's so cute. It's like bright pink too. And it doesn't really look tinted when you put it on though. Like even if I have nothing underneath, it doesn't look that pink. But it's very cute and it kind of lasts for a while too for lip oil. So that's all she wrote. Let's go make an appetizer.
Here is the outfit to go make charm necklaces. I just got this little top. I just have on these basic dark wash jeans, little Steve Madden heels, and then my thrifted rainbow coach purse, which I love so much and I wear it all the time. Appetizers are done and we're gonna go get crafties. Friday. I am going to be doing a little bit of baking for this Easter weekend. I'm going to be spending Easter morning with my roommate's boyfriend's family, which was very sweet of them to invite me. Um, and I'm going to be making some banana nut muffins for them. So let's get to baking. stunning gorgeous beautiful day out today the sun is shining there's not a cloud in the sky and it's like 73 degrees which is the warmest it's been in a little while so i'm gonna capitalize on this i'm gonna go hang out either in our little courtyard area or go to the pool i haven't decided yet i kind of want to go to the pool but i have a feeling it's gonna be packed because the weather's so nice so let's go investigate and see what we can find and hopefully we can get a little sun tan in i can read my book and have just like a really lovely chill day ever built Easter baskets before actually that's a lie I made one last year for my mom but these are for my roommate Jess and my boyfriend Scott so let's put them together I'm so excited I had so much fun shopping for all this stuff it's like all cheapy little goodies but I think it'll be really cute okay so for Jess's I'm starting off with this cute little strawberry bucket obviously just adorable I got her some grass to fill it up I guess we'll just use all of it. Kind of fluff it up, make it look nice. I had to get her some peeps because obviously Easter, you have to have peeps. I love peeps personally. I know they're like disgusting if you think about them too much because it's literally just like marshmallows and sugar, but something about it, I think they taste 
outstanding. Got her some little cutie claw clips. Then I got her this little bath bomb and sugar scrub set. She loves to take baths, so I think she'll really like this one. And then I got her this Sleep Hero Overnight Recovery Body Mask. I think it's just like a thick lotion. I'm not gonna open it all the way up. Very pink here. I actually didn't mean to do that, but here we go. I guess it's fine. Last but not least, I got her Reese's Cups. I wanted to get her Reese's Eggs because those are like obviously superior than the regular ones, but the store that I went to was completely sold out of most of their candy, so I had to get regular Reese's Cups like from the candy section. I think I'm just gonna kind of fill these in. Ta-da! She's so cute! All right, so for Scott's, I got him a Easter egg sports ball bucket. This was like one of the only boy ones that they had there, so we're working with limited uh, options, but it's fine. And then I got him purple grass. I got him some blue peeps. I got an Alani New Energy drink. He likes to go to the gym, and I don't know if he likes these, but I think, I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of fun. Um, I got him a scrub daddy sponge thing because he was talking about how he liked my sponge dispenser and he uses scrub daddy so I was like this is a perfect combination of both of those. So that's a little bit of like a functional gift but still kind of cute. And then I got him this little guy. I couldn't pass him up. He's so squishy and I like how he feels. And you just need a little frog toy, you know? Everybody needs a little frog toy. I got him some nerds gummy clusters because these are one of his favorite candies. I also got him some Lesser Evil popcorn because he really likes this stuff too. The bag I got is massive. I don't know if it's going to fit in here, so I might just have to go on the side. And then he likes Kit Kats too, so I'm going to just kind of sprinkle those in there. I think these turned out so cute. I really love shopping for them, and I'm so excited to see them open them tomorrow. It is Easter Sunday. I'm just leaving church. It was such a beautiful, beautiful service. I went by myself, um, which I was a little nervous to do because I don't know if I've done that in a very long time, but it was fine. My hair is looking a little crazy. Um, it was fine. It was a really beautiful service. The um, the church was packed and they played beautiful music and they had good stained glass. Like it was a good vibe. So now I'm heading back to my apartment. Um, I need to pack up a couple things and then I'm going to have Easter brunch with um, my roommate's boyfriend's family who I've met some of them before but I don't turn right onto Cannon Street sorry for my directions I don't know them super well so it'll still be a good time though I feel like Easter is really special to spend with family and even though it's not my family I'm very grateful that they invited me so that'll be fun and then after that I'm going to hang out by the pool and we're gonna have a little barbecue um, and just enjoy the sun the weather this weekend has been so gorgeous like it feels almost like summer like it's just so sunny it's warm it's gorgeous out so we're really gonna lean into that and I'm really excited about it um and I'm gonna be horizontal for most of the day which is my dream yeah so let's go do Easter brunch my mom and dad sent me a little Easter basket so I'm going to open it up it's from the Easter Bunny very sweet of them. My mom is notoriously good, and my dad, notoriously good for having excellent Easter baskets. And this is the first Easter in so long I haven't spent with my family, so they're so sweet for sending something with the mail. We got some grass. Ooh, we're starting off. We got some sweet tarts, chicks, ducks, and bunnies. I love sour candy. We got a little Easter egg. Ooh, this is cute. Oh, yum. I love these. Peeps ropes. Actually, I haven't had peeps ones, but these look so good. <laughs> I love candy. I have such a sweet tooth. It's terrible, but I love it. <gasps> Millie! Miss Millie got some Bonkers Mix cat treats. She's gonna love these. She loves a little cat go -gurt. Oh, we got two packs of cat go -gurts. Millie, look! Come here! Then, oh, these are so stinking cute. Cherry napkins. I love these. These are so adorable for the spring. Ooh, Rise and Shine Energy Gummies. Oh, here she is. Millie, 
Look what the Easter Bunny got you. What do you think? I'm excited to try this. We got Coast is the brand name, Rise and Shine Energy Gummies. These look good. With vitamin B and caffeine to power up your days. Ooh, that sounds good. We got a couple more little Easter eggs. These are the cutest ones. They're like ombre and shiny. I love this. Oh, she knows me so well. <laughs> it's a disco ball candle. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm, it's kind of fruity. So cute. I love disco balls. Let's see if we can get some sunlight on it. There we go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Shell thank you cards. These are adorable. <laughs> we have a meow ice cube tray. So these are little ice cubes that look like cats. My roommate just gave me her Easter basket for me and it has a cute little glass for coffee. So I'm going to make little cat ice cubes to put in my new little cup. Ooh, this is fun. What are we working with here? Oh my gosh, it's oh, pants. It's like see-through little beach pants. Oh, these are freaking adorable. I might have to wear these today, actually. So cute. One thing about me, I love a good dish towel and I love a seasonal item. This is a spring little bunny dish towel set. That is so, so cute. It's perfect because it's not too Easter-y, but it's like still spring. Like I can keep these out after Easter too. Oh, my parents are so sweet. Thank you, mom and dad. You guys are the cutest ever. And I'm so appreciative of you. Millie, what do you think? You want some of your goo? Yum. Easter bunny spoiling you, huh? 